Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lucha Underground Live Reactions. It is Season 2, Episode 7, and we are currently watching a recap. We saw a recap of the Marty the Moth storyline with Sexy Star. We saw a recap of Taya debuting to help Johnny Mundo be Cage. We're seeing the Dragon Slayer series right now with pj black and drago and jack evans all interacting this is gonna be a great episode of lucha oh and now we're of course we're seeing the build-up for the main event the triple threat mill pentagon and puma john this is gonna be hype i mean brother you can only imagine how i'm feeling cage and mundo tonight in uh, what has been announced as a no disqualification match now, I have been tweeting about it all day. You guys know where I stand. Mundo's going to embarrage Cage for a second straight time. And Cage actually tweeted at me today, for all the tweeting you've been doing, you're going to be left heartbroken tonight. Not my fault. And while I can give Cage credit for a Gene Snitsky impression, it won't save him. As here we have Sexy Star here in the locker room. Interesting. And it's the Mac. Oh, Mac's yeah. fighting the moth tonight. We got this. This was announced on Instagram, on Lucha Underground's Instagram. Yeah, the Mac's really trying to be a friend of Sexy Star here. Yeah, she's traumatized, man. Yeah, those scars run deep. Mac trying to talk to her. Are we going to have a tag team or... She may just be in his corner. Oh, look at that solidarity. Yeah. I can dig start. that. That's awesome. Yeah. Dude, I hope we see Marty's sister tonight. Dang it. We may, my friend. This we may. This is like the third episode in a row that I've hoped for it. <laughs> Dude, for how long we've been hoping for Matunza, Lucha Underground has mastered the art of the tease. That is true. That is true. Oh, man. Here I don't we think anyone go. ever questioned that, but yeah. <laughs> Piro's still rocking the glasses. Dude, he's overcompensating so hard. He looks so bookish in them. I feel like he just got done his dissertation on oceanography or something. <laughs> <laughs> oceanography is such a perfect subject for him. <laughs> yeah, because that's where all the bodies are buried deep beneath the ocean floor. Exactly. All the sacrifices, panic. Oh, dude, that triple threat tonight, though. I mean, honestly, That's... the reason that I said that it was perfect for him is... Oh, there's Marty! But oh, anyway, the sniffing! The reason, oh, God, the, 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 the reason sniff. I said it was perfect for him is because, like, the whole thing with the ocean is that it's one of the most, like... It's literally the biggest unexplored area on the planet. And the, there's this whole idea of, like, deep, dark mystery with Vampiro. So that fits. Yeah. Oh, oh God, Marty. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Dude, oh. I feel like as soon as Marty shows up on screen, you jump straight from normal to anxious aardvark with no stopping in between for Awkward Turtle. He's so good at what he does. Like, I and you guys know my history of supporting heels, or in this case, because I like to use the Lucha Underground verbiage, Rudos. Rudo. But, and it's not that I don't support Marty. It's just he's so off-putting. Oh, than anyone Mac else. is going at it, though. Mac oh, is Mac, not letting Marty breathe. Mac whooping that ass, and he's got Marty in the corner there. Now he's got him by the... Oh, I think he's going to Irish whip here. I thought he had him by the hair. And now, nice back body drop. Great elevation there. Sexy Star at ringside. We may see Marty's sister, dude. If Sexy Star's at ringside and nobody's in the corner of Marty, yes. she may come out I want it. I want it. Oh, man. <laughs> Marty, again, his uh, his fill of fiber just eating that turnbuckle pad. Oh, oh and now... Oh, look at this. Banging his own head. I see that the time off has really done well for Marty's sanity. I know. Oh, wow, what a lariat. That was like almost like a half a hybrid lariat forearm. Yeah, look at that leg lariat there by the Mac, and Marty rolls out, creating distance. Oh, yeah. And I oh, I think we're going to be a suicide dive, though. Face. Yeah, Mac, I mean, do not let his size deceive you guys. Oh. I mean, what this guy can do. Oh, but Mac. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that's got, oh, 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 my wait. God, he skinned the cat. Hung up and oh the kick there by Marty the Moth right to the arm there. Oh and God, now, he's stripping. Oh oh God, I think he even gyrated a little. And then oh he God, it right at Melissa Santos. Oh so creepy. Oh my God, the Moth can fly. Oh and he did and he connected. He actually connected. Oh my God, he's so good. 
you know, dude, Bates Motel recently came back on television. I think even Norman Bates would look at Marty the Moth with a raised eyebrow. <laughs> He'd be like, yep, that's my limit right there. Just look at Marty and be like, dude, what kind of complex do you have? I could keep my mummified version of my mother up in the attic, but this, this is where I draw the line. <laughs> oh, come I on, Rick Knox. You should not have counted that. Marty's foot was under the rope. Yeah, Rick, do your job for once. <laughs> it's to see somebody other than me be a critic for a change. Well, I, know. I don't have a personal problem with Rick Knox, but I'm I'm willing to call a referee out on a mistake. I will if he actually has the audacity to officiate Mundo versus Cage tonight. No DQ, he'd better make the right call. I know. <laughs> Party the moth on the top rope, really flapping those arms. I feel so bad for Melissa Santos. Oh, God. And now, oh, oh this the splash. He ain't nothing but canvas. Look at Mac, that. though. German! Beautiful release. What elevation there on that German, and now he's fired oh, up. Oh, what an exploder. Excellent. And now the Mac is Is there anything the Mac can't do? He does suplexes. He does aerial maneuvers. And now he's going to the top rope here. You know, John, I have inside information. The Mac can't do calculus. Oh! Oh, wait a Sister? minute! Sister? It, it has to be. It has to be. I Sexy hear music. Doesn't... I hear music. Yes! Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are you doing, sexy? Oh, oh my I, God! That is awesome! That is freaking awesome! Oh! Marty! Oh, no. Gorilla Marty the Moth. slam off the top! No way, is Marty actually going to win this match? I feel like this would be his first win in his Lucha Underground career. The, oh my God! Curb stop! We know Mac has lost to curb stops before. That's the second one now. Oh and my he God! Won his first match, thanks to his sister. Marty the Moth wins thanks to, I believe you said her name was Mariposa. Oh, my I God. I'm about to get officially introduced to her. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, the Mariposa. Mariposa. Spanish, Spanish for the butterfly. Oh, my God. Sexy I, star. Oh, what a performance. Look at sexy. She is so petrified i mean we know sexy's history we know why she donned the mask in the first place ashton i think she's returned to that dark place just at the sight of marty and his sister here tonight look at that yeah. oh my god she's horrified and she has reason to be yeah i i do not blame her for being horrified for all my tough heelish talk i would be reduced in a puddle of my own urine looking at these two good god and marty having a good laugh I love the look that they gave Mariposa. I love the wings. The well, that... the wings and the bodysuit and the mask. They really outdid themselves with that attire. Yeah, and now, now, <laughs> here we go. When we come back from break, I'm sure, Johnny Mundo versus the Machine Cage no disqualification. Will Cage get a measure of retribution? And the question I have, what role will Taya Valkyrie play in this match? Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. This has been an amazing show already, and we will be back on the other side of this commercial. Guys, we're back, and Phoenix is getting a vignette. He's getting some more backstory. He's, you know, he's talking about how he's based on a myth and fantasies and stuff like that. And he became the Phoenix. Wow, that is so cool. They said he wouldn't survive in Lucha Underground. I don't know who's foolish enough to think that. Well, I mean, I can necessarily blame them after he got powerbombed through a building, but he's still yeah, here. he can survive anything. He has a thousand lives. That's the point. Oh, man. They said he could never defy death. Well, congratulations, Phoenix. You've done that multiple times now. Oh, man. I love when they show the in-ring highlights. Yeah. During the, the backstory vignettes. I think that's so cool. Right. You're just, darn right you proved him wrong, Phoenix. Yeah, I just love how these things are filmed just in general. Amazing to me. 
He is the gift of the gods again. That is true. I almost forgot about that, but yeah, he won the title back last week. Two-time champion. The first two-time anything champion in Lucha Underground. No one's yeah. ever held a title more than once, other than now Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix pretty much saying they may say that me being world champion is a fantasy. Some but fantasies, some fantasies are, are worth believing in. in. Yep. Phoenix is focused, man. He wants that title. Some myths become legends. Oh, that was a really well put vignette closing line. Oh, Jack Evans! Oh, Jack the Dragon Slayer Evans. Q Calvary. Oh, oh, God. The people. Did he say need or dig? I couldn't tell what he said. The people dig me or the people need me? The people me. dig me, probably. Yeah. Oh, man. Drago. What did that light ever do to you, Drago? Yeah, that light had a family, damn it. Then slay me now. Oh, PJ! Oh, man. What? Oh! Oh, my. They've joined forces. This is the from the trailer! Yep, we're going to see it play out now. Oh! Oh, my God! And PJ Black, though, seems to be Oh, holding... Evan's got nunchucks of his own! Oh, let's and try to the, We're getting a three-way nunchaku battle. Oh, my God. That's pretty insane. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. I love it so much. Now the speed of Drago with those nunchucks. Oh, man. And he just swiped them both across the face. God, that was... Damn. Super that was pretty Jack much... Jack Evans. PJ Black, though. PJ Black got them nunchaku skills. Oh, and now they got the advantage, and they're two on one teaming him. Yeah, they're just they're ganging up so on him. Oh no, he's being choked with them. Oh no, Jack Evans talking trash. I think he said that he wouldn't make it to Aztec Warfare. Oh God. Oh wait, what? What is going on? Aerostar, right? right? Yeah. Oh my God. Damn. Aerostar has glow in the dark nunchakus. This is the coolest show on television. <laughs> That's a tag team match I'm dying to see. That would be... That tag team match is going to be amazing. I bet you it happens next week, too. Because we're moving at such Probably. a great neck pace this season. Oh, Welcome back God. from the thousand years in the past, Aerostar. Just in time, too, to save his friend. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, it was. Oh, my God. All right, guys, we'll be back when this commercial's over. Oh, uh, the following Lucha is a no disqualification match. Cage and Mundo. Here we go, John. Are you ready for this? I am so ready for this. I have been talking shit to Cage all day on Twitter. I have been supporting my boy Johnny Mundo all day through the same medium. But the time for talking is over. It is now time for this no disqualification match. And I just got done tweeting before this match gets in progress that once Mundo beats Cage for a second straight time, he will definitively prove himself to be the number one contender for the Lucha Underground Championship. And here comes Taya Valkyrie! Oh, I love it. I love that Taya has become part of Johnny Mundo's entrance. Yes, look at that. She controls the breeze. It's beautiful. Oh. No way. Oh, wait, what's this? No. That's so true, he did. Oh, what? my God. What? Yes. What? Yes. Go, Taya, go. Yes. 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 Kick his ass. Yeah. You know what? I don't know if you saw it, Ashton, but Brian Cage, he tweeted, 
that uh, more Mundo better leave. I'm so excited I can't even speak. Mundo better leave Taya in the back or else Cage would have to choke a bitch. Let's see if he can do it to her face because I responded to him that she can stand on her own two feet and she can kick his ass. So let's see it. Dude, oh, I've... Taya has got to win this. Dude, she is going to win it. There's no has to about it. She is going to win because she's a capable athlete. I have seen footage of this woman standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pentagon Jr., and she lived to tell the tale. She can handle this hunk of junk. <laughs> Beat the shit out of him. Yes, this is awesome. No, you know what? Don't even, Cage, because I see her giving the look. Oh, maybe you should go in the back. It's not yeah! good. Yeah! Pie him in the face! Pie him in the damn face! Now kick him in the ball. Yeah! Oh, nice. nice slap. Ruda for life. Yes. God, I am so fucking pumped. <laughs> oh, oh here we go. Holy crap. But again, I don't want people to be concerned for Taya Valkyrie again. This is a woman that stared in the eyes of Pentagon Jr. and oh, took in the limit. I was going to say, I thought he was going to go for a weapon X right off the bat. Oh, no, he's well, curling her. Wow, that's not insulting This is his mistake. All. He's not taking her seriously. And remember, it's still no DQ. That is true. That is true. It is no DQ. Oh, my God. What a <laughs> slam, though. What a power slam. Taya's <laughs> down, but she's not out. That was almost like a, a hybrid spine buster. What a hapless gorilla cage is. All he knows is physicality. No finesse. And now, look at this nice neck breaker there by cage. Into the float over. Two. But Taya kicks out. out. Taya kicked out. That's it's right, cage. That is the toughness of Taya Valkyrie, or as I have deemed her, the temptress of the temple. And now Cage is calling for the end here. I can dig that. Oh, no DQ! <laughs> oh, oh, right in the balls, and now a kick to the head. And oh, a drop, a drop kick. Beautiful. And Ty is feeling it. Oh, man, I love that her and Mundo are a team. Oh, and now DDT, and she yeah. scores it. He scores it. Oh, he's set up for the knees in the corner. Yeah, knee him in the damn face. Yes. Yes! Oh my god, that is brutal. <laughs> yes! That's what it's about. Cover and oh, Cage. Wow, out. Cage just threw her off of him. Cage powered out. Taya's in a state of disbelief. It's okay, Taya. You've got this. This is all yours. Grab he a weapon. He underestimated you, and now he's paying the price. What's she getting here? Oh, a the pipe. pipe. The same the pipe, pipe that put Cage, Cage away a couple weeks Cage ago. Quickly. Oh, oh, but he grabs it. Oh! Oh, oh no, freaking away. Is oh, he going to do weapon X to her on the floor? No, power bomb. Oh, okay. oh the guardrail. Oh. And now, oh! And the, up onto the post. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, don't, don't, hide, don't encourage him. <laughs> People. You know what, though? It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah, cheer for her getting beat up. Real classy you are, but she's going to get the last laugh. Oh, and Cage has got her back in the ring. Oh, I think he's going to go for Weapon X here. If Mundo was going to show up now, it would oh, be the power bomb. bombs. God. He's just really prolonging this air now. Bomb. Bomb. Oh, come on, Cage. You're just upset that you didn't get Mundo tonight. You're pissy that you got beat two weeks ago. That you weren't the better man like you thought you were going to be. And now you're taking it out on Taya. And now I think he, is he grabbing a table? What's he grabbing here? I don't know. He's grabbing something. It is yep, a table. it's a table, yep. It's a table. But could this be his undoing, Ashton? I think he's posturing here. I think he's taking a little too long. You're giving Taya time to recover. Well, I mean, Ashton, you and I, I mean, you and I have been watching wrestling together for years now. We know what happens when a person, you know, they kind of linger a little bit, when they care more about prolonging the suffering than winning the match. I mean, hell, we saw it at the last uh, wrestling event that you and I did live reactions to. And, you know, I, I Cage, I just think, he's full of hot air, he's a hapless gorilla, and they've never really been known to be intelligent. Oh, my God. I think he's going to go for a suplex, yeah. Oh, suplex uh, no. under the tables. No, counter it, Taya, counter it! Oh! But how much did that take out of Cage, too, though? Not enough. Oh, my God. Because Ty is still breathing. So, you know, 
Cage still needs to get back in the ring. He still needs to get her back in the ring. And he you still know, needs to go for the cover. And I think that if he does, she's still going to kick out. Because she's Taya a tough chick. Taya is the victim here. As I've tried to explain to Caltag Star in the last reel here, look... Taya brought the pipe in because it fell from the temple. Her and Mundo were simply trying to put it back to repair the temple. And now Cage, that suddenly makes her an object of Cage's ire. I it's think, not right. I think Cage wants Weapon X here. Oh, but here's Mundo! Mundo! Yes! Two yes! on one his ass. Yes! Gag up on his ass! Pipe! Right the pipe! Do it! Yeah! Again! Again! Cover her! Cover him! Cover him! And that was just, yes, one, one two. two. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Look at Mundo's face. <laughs> come on, there's got to be something you could do. Knee him in the face. Knee him in the face. Wait, what What are you doing? I think he's getting another, another kind of weapon. I, I don't know if I agree with that. Oh, God. All right, well, they're both stirring. He's now, just... Mundo. He's reaching for the kitchen. Cinder block. Fuck. Give okay. Cage a taste of his own medicine. Yeah. Beat his ass. I mean, I know Cage is a machine, but I, I wonder. What? What? Oh, beer uh, bottles. Okay. Well, those are, are not effective against Cage at all. We've already seen that in his vignette. Well, Cage is stirring, but you got to wonder, Ashley, even though Cage is tougher than most men, and I will concede that point to oh him, he took a pipe to the skull. I mean, do you think his equilibrium is all there? I doubt it, but we're going to have to wait and see. I'll be blown to the back there. Mundo, I look, I just... You Is know, he going to go for uh, Moonlight Drive? Oh, no, he's going for a powerbomb. What? Oh, Cage, though. Cage. Oh, God. Oh, Alabama Slam. Oh, God. Oh, God. Tyler. Oh, he's setting it up. He's setting it up. Oh, my God, no. Oh, no. Yeah. The yes. Save. Oh. These two belong on magazine covers. If something had happened to his face, it would have been a crime against humanity. Oh, thank God. Don't do it, Johnny. It's not effective. Oh. He, of course he's going to no-sell it. That's the third time oh. now. One from the vignette, one from the Mac, and now this time. Oh, God, right in the face oh that God. time. Oh, my God, no. Guys, get out of there, guys. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Johnny? Oh, Johnny, why, Johnny? Oh, God. Oh, he's going to hit her with a weapon X. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me oh. break up the pin, Johnny. Oh, God. Oh. Kate's Why? bleeding. You know what? I wish he would have helped her. I'm not going to lie. That's a shame. What are you doing, Johnny? Look, he's living to fight another day, man. I wish he could have helped her, but I think he made the best call that he could. He has to keep himself healthy for that Lucha Underground Championship. I mean, Aztec Warfare's in two weeks. Oh, Jesus. my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Well, Cage wins, folks. Cage promised that I was going to be heartbroken. I just didn't know exactly what he meant. And, yeah, that, that took a piece of me, uh, I'll be honest. But Taya gave a great fight, though. That was quite a matchup. Yeah, man, that was... I'm disappointed in Johnny Mundo, let me put it that way. Look, you know, people can be disappointed in Johnny Mundo, but I, I think ultimately he made the right call. I, I wish he would have helped Taya, yes, but we've got to think about that Lucha Underground Championship, and he can only win it if he's at 100%. Now is not the time to strike. They'll get their revenge, both of them will. Timing is everything. I mean, this he, isn't couldn't, a he couldn't break up the pin? I don't think that, that would have cost him his health. Look, that was a choice he made. I can't say whether he could have or couldn't have, but they'll get their revenge and timing is everything. This isn't over. This isn't over. Okay. Well, all right, guys. That being said, we're going to take a break here. We'll be back by the end of the uh, commercial break. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a famous Beaven yet. This is the third week in a row now that we're getting one of these. And now he's wearing a wizard hat. Oh, he's going to answer that question, though, why he is wearing one. Oh. Um. Oh. Uh, no job, no car. <laughs> Beat Brenda. Uh, 
Famous B has so much charisma. Oh, magic touch. What's he gonna do to Brenda? Oh, oh I, I, wow. Oh nice. my god. Dude, this is so 70s and 80s. I feel like I recognize her from somewhere. You think so? I think so. If you, if you I want to be up, careful what you say, dude. Uh, she might be a porn star, and you would just be like, no. yeah, I've seen her. You know what? I'll, I'll tell you next commercial break who I think it is, then. We can confirm for ourselves. I mean, I'm sure she's probably someone from the wrestling business, if we're being real. I mean, yeah, I, I have an idea who it is, but I don't want to say anything on air and make an error that could be embarrassing, so. <laughs> I, I, just, I just have an she, idea. She's I, just kind of awkwardly standing there waiting for the commercial to end. I love it. Oh, that's I'm awesome. I'm so happy for Famous B. Oh, wait a minute. Katrina. Oh, what's this? Oh, wait. Oh, he, he believes. believes. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Next. Yeah! Week. Oh, God. What? Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Well, that means they have to win, though, right? Not necessarily. No, it, it means they have to win, John. Well, I mean, it's Lucha Underground, dude. Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, which means they have to, they have to win. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to let you have that. Thank you. Because clearly they're going to win. Well, eh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Man, I was looking forward to seeing Taya kick Eva Lee's ass, but now that may never happen. No, no, yeah, no, it's never going to happen because Eva Lee is going to be the one kicking Taya's ass. So, well, no, it, it's just it's never going to happen now because Eva Lee won't even be a part of the temple after the next week because the Disciples of Death are probably going to retain. So, yeah, except the Disciples of Death are a joke who are only really credible because of of Katrina in the first place. And you act like Katrina won't be a factor next week. I think that. Team Havoc is going to be prepared for her. They're going to know that she's going to be around, and they're going to prepare for that. They're going to take her into account. They're going to treat it like a four-on-three handicap match. You keep telling yourself that three mortal people can be prepared for a teleporting succubus or whatever the hell she is. You, uh, They don't have to pin her! <laughs> All right, dude. Well, hey, regardless of what you and I may think about that trio's tag title matchup, I'm sure we'll get more into it with our formal uh, Twitter review. After the fact, it is time for that triple threat match. Pentagon, Muertes, Puma, all for that world title, baby. Yeah, buddy. And, of course, first entrance is Prince Puma, which means Pentagon's going to be second and Mill's going to be last because this is Lucha Underground where they respect their champions and allow them to enter last, unlike WWE. It's the little things, people. It's the little things. It really is. It really, really is. If I'm not mistaken, you... Have Pentagon Peg to win this match tonight. Friggin' right I do. And I have Mil Muertes retaining. Which is like the ultimate cop-out pick, so good job. Wow. I think you're still feeling a little salty knowing that we only have one week of Ivelisse left, but regardless... That's not true. We have uh, as much of Ivelisse left as Ivelisse chooses to stay around. Yeah, unless, you know, she loses, but again... But she's said, not gonna lose. We have, you know what we have one week of Eva less, uh, left of of Ivelisse is we only have one week left of Ivelisse without a championship on her belt or around her waist or on her shoulder or anything like that. Wow. You know, you're, you're really bringing it. And now here comes Pentagon. Dude, you and I watched a promo Pentagon cut and he promised, you know, his fans and his haters that, uh, you know, that they would want to tune in and see what he was going to do to Puma and Muertes because he has zero fear. And I am very much looking forward. I mean, can Pentagon pull it off? I feel like he has all the momentum in the world right now. I think anybody who picked Pentagon to win, as I know you did, I mean, it's certainly not a foolish choice. Pentagon has just been on a roll. I think he is primed to win that world title. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Beyond the Grave. Mil Muertes, his first match since uh, since Evil East in week one. This is his first, this is only his second match of the season. Yes, yeah, and it's episode seven, if I'm episode not mistaken. Episode seven, tonight. yeah, we're in episode seven, and this is only Mil's second 
match and second title defense of the season. This is going to be very interesting to see how this plays out because let's keep in mind after that title defense of the Ivalice, that's when all hell broke loose. And Different attire for broke. Katrina as well. Yeah, I like it. I dig it. Oh, man. Look, dude, look Mill, dude, he looks like he is, and I know that this is kind of what the gimmick is, but he legitimately looks like he's not even human right now. He looks Thanks. like superhumanly broad. <laughs> yeah, and it, even if you look at his movements, his movements don't even seem like that of a live person. Almost like Dude, just... it is crazy. Like, yeah, you say like his movements don't even look like that of a live person. Yeah, that's because Rigor Morgan is set in and he hasn't recovered. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, well, are Puma and Pentagon going to be able to overcome death? We're going to find out after what I presume to be this final commercial break. Yeah, buddy. We'll be back on the other side, people. All right, guys, we're back, and we've got the match. We've got the triple threat. We've got Mill, Pentagon, and Puma. And here we go. I think that's Marty Elias that just held the title up, and this is our match. Are you ready, John? I am so ready for this. I am so intrigued. Ring you're talking the about bell! Yeah, you're talking about a dominant world champion and two white hot contenders. I mean, who's gonna win this thing? I know we already have our picks, but this one's really up in the air. Look at this. Yeah, they were talking earlier. I didn't think that they would actually go through with teaming up, but as it turns out, here we are. Yeah, they're double teaming, but I think this is smart by both guys. Take out the legitimate threat here. Well, they're all three legitimate threats. Well, I mean, take out the biggest. Well, I mean, Mil Muerte's made a bolt Take out the guy that, that beat both of you up by himself last week. Exactly. I mean, no no doubt that these all three are threats in their own right, but only one guy was able to manhandle them both at the same time in Mil Muerte. And so now, yep. yeah, Puma. And really I think it's, safe. it's it's a throwback, too, because Puma personally has experienced double teaming with somebody to beat up Mil Muertes. Oh, and look at the double lariat. He is such a freaking monster. I love it. That's why he's the champion. But remember, Just... Puma won the Lucha Underground Championship by double teaming Mil with Johnny Mundo. That's right. But here's the thing, Ashton. Mil Muertes beat Puma at Ultima Lucha by himself, straight yep. up with his own ability. No smoke and mirrors, oh no cheating, god. no disciples, and oh my god. Dude, they call Cage a machine. Mil Muertes is a freaking machine. Yeah, but here's the difference. Machines, I believe, even, even the best machines have limits. I don't even know if Mill does ever since being revived, and now, oh my god. Okay, so Mill is a sentient immortal machine. How's that? Fair enough. <laughs> and now... Oh, and what a toss. Rose Puma literally the whole way across the ring. Oh, and now, now Pentagon here. <laughs> the Pentagon, oh, lands on his feet, lands though. Lands on his feet, yeah. Able to maintain his balance. And Pentagon may be the hungriest man in this match because he is the only one in this match that has never oh. been Lucha Underground World Champion. I don't think he's hungry to win the championship. I think he's just hungry to take arms and, and sacrifices, you know? Oh, what a move by Puma. Into a DDT, Jesus. Puma, in one fluid motion, is able to avert Mil Muertes and take out Pentagon. That's why he's one of the best athletes in the game today. That's why oh the crowd my is... God. Jesus! I was going to say that's why the crowd is bowing down to him, but then Mill literally lifted him up off the floor by his head and then oh, punched him there. in it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, no way! No! Oh, the crowd! Oh, my fight. God. That's ridiculous. This man, is there anything he can't do? Jesus Christ. And now, oh, right in the crowd there. Oh, man. Now bringing Puma up. You know, and the I have bleach. heard oh. apparently Mil Muerte struggles to grasp quantum physics. So there is something he can't do. Well, him and 99% of the population, as far <laughs> as I'm concerned, kick <laughs> to the head there. Oh! Mill staggering. Oh, and now, what's Puma oh, doing? Oh, my God. He's going after Pentagon again, isn't he? Why? Uh, no. Oh! <laughs> to attack, you know? <laughs> but I would still focus on Mil Muertes. Well, Mil's up in the crowd. You're not going to do too much up there. Yeah, Pay attention Puma's to him, though, Puma. Pay uh, attention. Oh, yeah, he got punched. Yeah. Oh. See, and that's exactly why Prince Puma has never beaten Mil Muertes, whereas Puma has beaten Pentagon, albeit in a well, fluky way. Technically, Puma did beat Mil last season with the help of Johnny Mundo. 
Yeah, with the help of Johnny Mundo. I'm saying by himself. Oh, right? super oh. kick. Forearm. That was like a discus forearm. Oh, Ducks close it. Oh, chop there. Oh, I thought it was going to be a super kick. I was getting ready to call it. <laughs> oh, look at oh look at my God. Oh, Pentagon. Pentagon met him up there. Oh, oh Pentagon. Side slam on Puma onto the corner of the apron. Jeez. Oh, but Mill, oh, but Mill is right back, isn't it? Oh. oh, my God. This guy's like Michael Myers. He just won't stay down. Yeah, he really is. That's a great parallel to make. Oh, my good God. Yeah, he's definitely like a freaking 70s horror icon or 80s. Parents, let me just tell you this. If you ever tell your children that the boogeyman doesn't exist, <laughs> consider it a lie because Mil Muerte is the thing. Yeah. And yeah. Look at the leg, too. And Pentagon kicks out. Even if only barely because he's, he's out, man. He's down and out. Well, you want to talk about down and out? Look at Puma. <laughs> well, Puma's not in the ring, though. He can't be pinned. Oh, DDT there. Jesus. And you got to imagine, Ashton, one, that Mil Muertes two, is loving it. kick out. He is on a one-to-one -one basis right now with the man that broke his arm back in the yeah. debut episode, the premiere episode of season two. And now, ducks the clothesline to Pentagon, ducks it again, sling blade. Sling blade, baby. Oh, oh my oh, God, another sling blade? Up. Another sling blade, yeah. Pentagon feeling it. I love the rapid fire sling blades from Pentagon. He did that against Puma the other week, too. Milmort is already back up on his feet, and now Pentagon, what's he thinking here? Oh, Over a dive. The top. Support. Nice. Wow. Is Pentagon. that a tope con gyro, John? I, I believe. I mean, I do not know the technical term, but I will take your word for it. I know you do your homework. And now Puma. Oh, what a dive there. Oh, my God. He's so good. A flipping scent on over the ropes. And now Pentagon. Uh, what's Pentagon going to do now? I think he's going out to take both of them out. And he got Muertes again. Puma yep. moves out of the way. Puma is, is with it now, though, and he's in the ring. I mean, Ashton, if it comes down to Pentagon and Puma, if somehow those two men can isolate Mil Muertes long oh, enough. Oh, another to... dive. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. And he caught Mill again. They're just going back and forth, taking out Mill. But what and Mill just keeps getting up for it. That's the thing. And I was just getting ready to say Mill keeps getting up for it. Oh, look at this. But he landed on the top of the barricade. Oh, 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 I think he kicked Pen oh, I thought he I thought he kicked Pentagon off, yeah. but I think I'm mistaken there. He, kicked, he didn't kick him off, he just kicked him in the head and it knocked Pentagon a little loopy. Oh, and then hit him I don't know what he oh hit him my with. God. What is that? I don't know. Oh, shot to the gut there. That's not the that's face. not the belt, was it? I thought it was like a replica looking belt or something, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. I mean, you never know Mil what's gonna happen here in Mil the temple. Is recovering. Mill is recovering this whole time. These guys are fighting each other and the actual champion is left to recover. Well, from where I sit, Ashton, the recovery rate of Mil Muerte seems to have slowed down a little bit. Yeah. And now Pentagon. Oh, God. Oh, what's he? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought Puma was going to fight out of that. Uh, well, I'll tell you, he didn't. And his back paid the pro. Oh, what's? Oh, God. Oh, God. Cross body. Jesus. Mill just cannot catch a break. Every time he gets up, he gets somebody thrown at him. Uh, you, you, this, I mean, definitely puts the underground in Lucha Underground because these guys are just fighting tooth and nail for survival here. Yeah, they're they're fighting to put each other in the ground. Exactly. And Mil Muerte saying, done. Dude, wow, you that's... just ate a crossbody and you're still the healthiest guy in this match. What are you? <laughs> he's not human, I can tell you that much. Oh, my. I, I think it's at least safe to say that he's at the very least undead. Exactly. Oh, and Puma's stirring. But look at him. He looks rough. And that, and that's when it really becomes the most pertinent question. How bad do these guys... Oh, want super to kick! Super kick there. Oh, no. oh shooting star press to both guys! Jesus! Oh, my God! He cleared it. He cleared it. Unbelievable. And All as three as of these guys are down, too. Pentagon's the first to stir, though. Ashton, if you were dealing with three normal athletes, I would say who would ever get to their feet first has the advantage, but I think that's a moot point. You're dealing with three freaks in that ring. And now Pentagon back in the and ring. And really, it doesn't matter who gets to their feet first because I think Mill still does have an advantage just because his recovery rate is so ridiculous. Oh, Fireman's carry here from Bennett Driller. Oh, Pentagon's no. off the kick. 
Oh, call the arm. The, oh, rebound kick there. Nice. Wow. Bill is still stirring, but I mean, he's not up yet. And Puma now. Is he going for the 630? I think he, well, can you blame him? I think he has a sense of urgency knowing his opportunity here. Go, 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 go. I think he got it. He got he it. He got it. More takes him. Up. Mill is up, though. Oh, Two. no. One. Oh, 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 and Mill breaks it up just in just time. Just barely. His recovery rate slowed down, dude. It, it slowed did, down. It did, but he's still recovering at a pretty ridiculous rate. He is. And now Katrina holding up the stone. She's I holding the stone up. Yeah, that's what Puma. it is. I oh, the punch. Uppercut. Puma, Uppercut. holding his own. One-on-one, -on -one, and Puma is holding his own against Mill. Muertes is staggering. Oh, what a oh. snap power slam. Jesus. The power slam, too. And Puma kicks out. Oh, my God. Hennigan can get back in this, too. He got hit with the 630, but he was not pinned. He's still in this thing. Yeah. I mean, how, how long is it going to take for him to recover fully from that, though? That is a great point. I mean, you're talking that 630. You're talking all the weight at that speed that Puma was going. Crashes on Pentagon. Oh, oh, super kick by Pentagon. And now Pentagon just trading Puma. Super kick there. Super kick there. They're trading off. Oh, super my God. Fortes is still standing. Good God. What now, is he? Same time. This is ridiculous. And the double. That stone. I think the power of the stone has been rendered useless. And oh, oh, now these two going back at it again. Oh, Pentagon going up top, maybe. Oh, wait a minute. Could it be the lung blower? Oh. Oh, uh, inverted lung blower. A backstabber. Oh, the pile driver. Oh, my God. He hit it. One, two. It. Oh, my God. That was so close. Pentagon almost had it. He did. He did almost have it. But it wasn't enough. Oh, this my. is awesome, crowd. This is when you chant. This is awesome. This is when that chant is actually appropriate. Who the hell is going to win? Dude, what's chant? Katrina handing Mill? Is she giving him the stone? It would be perfectly legal because it's a triple threat, but still. I know. Oh, wait a minute here. Pentagon, Pentagon wants the package pile driver. He's signaling for the end. He's going to hit it. He hit it. Cover. Oh, he's oh, going to try and break Puma's arm. I don't know if he has his priorities straight. He's going to try and break the arm. And, and, and Mil Muertes. Oh. Have it together. Oh, oh what a spear. Oh, my God. He can't, just broke him in half. Puma is still moving, though. I think Puma's about to get speared and then flatlinered. And there's the spear, Jesus. Oh, oh, my, oh my God. God. Oh, I think this is it. I think that Mill is going to get Puma here. Yeah, well, I said that Mill Moritz is going to... Is he going to do a double flatliner and pin them both? Just Probably. to really establish that dominance. He is, isn't he? Oh, wait, wait, wait. my God. Oh, I thought they were going to counter. I thought that, oh, oh, double flatliner. One, two, three. He beat both of them. He didn't need to pick one. He beat both of them. Oh, my God. Dude, who can possibly beat this thing? Mil Muertes may just be one of the most dominant world champions in recent memory. He pinned two of the most legitimate contenders in the temple right now. Are we going to get a double lick of death? I think so. Oh, my One God. One for Puma. Oh, my God. Beat on that essence. And one for Pentagon. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, Phoenix! Phoenix! That's uh, right. I almost forgot about Phoenix. That's the one man that Katrina fears for Mill. And Phoenix wearing the gift of the gods around his waist. I'm sorry to say this celebration won't last long. Oh, he's cashing in, brother. I think so. Next, Next week, I'm turning in. Yes, the gift of the gods. Yes, he's doing it. Dude. And that will, oh, that only leaves one week before Aztec Warfare, so Phoenix better get the job done. Wow. Oh, my God. This is insanity. Absolute insanity. He just said in English, the man of a thousand lives is coming for you. Wow. 
Can Phoenix wow. Can the myth become a legend next week? Oh, dude. Pentagon and Puma were just a freaking appetizer for Mill. And now when, he's got the full course, and we got to see if he can choke it down. But when Mil Muertes pins two guys as legitimate as Pentagon and Puma, yeah. what does that say about Phoenix that he still stands face to face with Mil Muertes on Afraid? The fact that Phoenix has fought Penta or has fought Mill already since his transformation, and he's lived to tell the tale. Oh my God! This freaking show. That's another week, people. In Dude, the books. Next week, we're getting Phoenix versus Mill. And I don't even know anything else that's going on, but I don't really care because that's enough to make me want to watch. Absolutely. Gift of the Gods getting cashed in next week. Guys, what a freaking phenomenal episode of Lucha Underground this was. Unbelievable. This was awesome. And yet, second week in a row, no end credit scene. Yeah, but you know what, though? I'm okay with it this week more than last week because this week we got a big revelation that Phoenix is challenging for the title next week. That's right, we did. All right, guys, that's Dude, this episode of Lucha Underground. Before we even close out, I'm going to put, I'm gonna just say it. I'm going to put it out there. This was my favorite episode of season two so far by a lot. Yeah, this was exceptional television. This was great. Oh, my God. God, that was an amazing main event match. We have two match of the year candidates from Lucha Underground right now, and they're consecutive. Yeah, that that was unbelievable. That was a lot of fun. And for you to say that this was your favorite episode of the season before, we're not even halfway through the season yet. Dude, we're not even, are we? We're okay. We're barely a third of the way through the season. No, we're not. We're we're not even a quarter. Well, we're over. Oh my god. Um my math skills are failing me. But here's the thing. We, we just got done watching episode seven. The season is technically 26 episodes long, but it's 27 hours long because the last episode is a two hour live special or not live right. it's a two hour special. Right. So seven out of 27. We're less than a third of the way done. Yeah. Oh my. <sighs> wow. This, this show was awesome. I love this show and I think we're going to close it out now because I'm going to just repeat myself a bunch. Let's let's get let's get into Twitwow. <laughs> 